Hours after wrestlers were detained by Delhi police on their way to the new parliament building during the Mahila Mahapanchayat on Sunday, top grappler Sakshi Malik said the wrestlers' protest was not over yet and that they would return to Jantar Mantar as soon as Delhi police releases them. She was one of the wrestlers who were detained including Vinesh Bhogat, Bajrang Punia and others. Taking to Twitter, she wrote, Our protest is not over. We are released from police custody and will start our Satyagare back at Jantar Mantar. In this country, there will be Satyagare of women wrestler, not dictatorship. Meanwhile, several videos showed police personnel manhandling the wrestlers. Delhi Commission for Women Chief Swati Maliwal wrote to Delhi Police Commissioner Sanjay Arora demanding the arrest of WFI Chief Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. She also sought the release of grapplers and action on the officer who detained them. Protesting wrestlers including Vinesh Bhogat, Sakshi Malik and Bajrang Punia were detained on Sunday after a scuffle with security personnel who tried to stop them from marching to the new parliament building as it was being inaugurated. Soon after, the Delhi police cleared the site of their one-month-long sit-in at Jantar Mantar and said they will not be allowed to return there. In the letter addressed to Delhi Police Commissioner Sanjay Arora Maliwal said she was deeply pained to note that Delhi Police has manhandled female wrestlers and their families protesting peacefully at Jantar Mantar and forcefully detained them today. She further mentioned that over a month back, several women wrestlers, including a minor, had made serious allegations of harassment against the Member of Parliament Mr. Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh during his tenure as the President of the Wrestling Federation of India. She said upon intervention of the Supreme Court, two FIRs were registered in the matter against the accused person who already has around 40 other ongoing criminal cases against him. However, despite a minor girl alleging harassment, by the accused parliamentarian, Delhi police has failed to arrest him till date. This has forced the female wrestlers to stage a protest at Jantar Mantar, which has been ongoing since the past one month, she wrote. In Delhi, every day around six cases of assault are reported and in each case, Delhi police attempts to arrest the accused person. Then why has Bridge Bhushan Singh not been arrested till date? If this is not blatant injustice, what is? Maliwal asked. This apparent partisan attitude of Delhi police which is being seen as siding with the accused parliamentarian has made a mockery of justice and forced the women wrestlers to sit and slip on the streets of Delhi, she added. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi went on to call Prime Minister Narendra Modi an arrogant king as he condemned the police crackdown on the protesters. The coronation is over. The arrogant king is crushing the voice of the public on the streets, he said in a tweet. Several opposition leaders including Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi Vadera, Mamta Banerjee, Malika Arjun Kharge, Jai Ram Ramesh and Arvind Kejriwal also came forward in support of the wrestlers. Priyanka took to Twitter and wrote, The arrogance of the BJP government has increased so much that the government is mercilessly trampling the voices of our women players under their boots and condemned the incident. Abraham Lincoln famously said that democracy is rule of the people, for the people and by the people. What happens when the people are pushed aside, ignored and silenced? When leaders selected by the people do not address the troubles of the very people they were elected by to serve and honor? One wonders, is this democracy? Tell us in the comments. And that's all folks, that was the bulletin in brief for you. Stay informed, stay connected.